In this video, we are going to be combining two great things, books and the Great British Bake Off. <laughs> That's right. Welcome back to my series where I am bringing back the humble book tag. And there's this website by ZZ with Books who has brought together every book tag in existence. And I was like scrolling, scrolling, scrolling with my eyes closed. And I was like, I'm just gonna pick a random one. What did I land on? The Great British Bake Off book tag. Immediately, I was like, I love everything about this. I need to do this and I'm going to do this. I turned the camera on and here we are. So we have some prompts and it's just gonna lead to a conversation about books. Who do I tag to do this? All of you, because this is wonderful. You can do it in the comment section, make your own video, post a TikTok, I don't know, but either way, I think we should all do this together. So the first prompt is Amateur Baker a book that you read that is self-published. Now, I don't know. You know, <laughs> recently I was at a meeting and the security guard on the door found out that I make videos about books. And so he was like, when I was leaving the building, he's like, oh, can you just wait one second? I need to go and grab this for you. And he went and grabbed me a copy of his self-published book, which was like, uh, how do I, it's erotica, <laughs> essentially. I got it home and I opened it up and it was like absolute filth, like craziness. <laughs> so I will hopefully get around to reading that at some point next, before the next time I go to that building, cause I, it is a building I go to regularly. So he will probably ask me about it. So I will, I will read it and I'll, and I'll, and I'll talk to him about it. Um, so that one's like in, in the works. Um, but I feel like this doesn't really fully count because it has been published since, but Alone With You in the Ether by Olivia Blake was originally self-published and that's when it first kind of came onto my radar. Um, and I think that book is absolutely exceptional. It ended up in my best books of the year video, but yeah, Alone With You in the Ether, 100%, I recommend it to everyone. The next book, <laughs> the next prompt is Soggy Bottom. So we're really going with all of the like, bake off lingo here. This is just too good. Um, anyway, Soggy Bottom, a book that had a great start, but a disappointing ending. I know exactly the book. It's got to be Small Pleasures by Claire Chambers. This book ugh, just has such a random ending. It felt like two books that had been sandwiched together, like that the ending of this book belongs to a different book. It was just so random. It just came out of absolutely nowhere. It relates to a real life tragedy. And I just felt like it was absolutely absurd because the book itself didn't really seem to match up with that ending. So Small Pleasures, I think, was one where if I could just like remove the ending from that book, like just remove the final chapter, it would make me so much happier. The next prompt is hashtag Bingate because who could forget the Baked Alaska. For those unaware, <laughs> hashtag Bingate. Hashtag Bingate is like a novel in itself. Like you can't make this up. This was a national scandal. This was arguably sabotage. Well, that's up for debate. The scandal was that during an episode of Bake Off, a contestant called Diana took Ian's Baked Alaska and sponge kind of combination out of the freezer to make room for her own and then left it on the side in a very warm tent. They filmed this in the summer. It's like a greenhouse in there. I think it was series five. But anyway, the baked Alaska obviously melted and then was thrown in the bin in frustration. And it was like crazy television, like TV gold. But we all felt for him in that moment. Like we were all oh, devastated about the baked Alaska, looking at Diana, like, what were you thinking? And then if I'm not wrong, Diana later left the competition because she had a fall that left her without a sense of taste or smell. Am I making that up? If I misremembered that, I'm sure that's what happened. But this was crazy. Like, this was insane. There have been whole seasons of, like, the Kardashians, Real Housewives, Big Brother combined that haven't had that much drama as this like five minute clip on the Great British Bake Off. So anyway, the prompt is a book you got frustrated with and then had to DNF. For me, one of the only books I've ever fully, fully DNF'd was, um, it's, it's the anonymous one. What's it called? Oh my God. What's it called? The like Lolita wannabe. Diary of an Oxygen Mask. Diary, no, Diary of an Oxygen Thief. Diary of an Oxygen Thief. One of the worst things I've ever read. I just, 
hated it. It's published anonymously. And I think for good reason, like if I had written that, I would publish it anonymously too. It's kind of trying to draw on what Lolita did well, but do does it badly. And so for me, that was a book where I was like, you know what? I, I don't want to ever finish this one. Sorry. Now, before we move on to the next prompt, I am delighted to let you know that today's video is very, very, very kindly brought to you by listening.com. I love listening.com as you will know because I just can't stop telling you about it. It's a game changer. Basically, imagine if you could convert academic texts, PDFs, textbooks, web pages, etc, etc, the list goes on into audio files. That is exactly what listening.com does. It's perfect for when you're cooking, when you're working out, when you're just relaxing, when you're going on your hot boy walk. It basically frees you up to do anything that you need to do. It can read math equations, it can skip citations for you, it can also make notes. There's this like plus note feature so you can instantly make a note of what you're reading just with one button. It's so useful. I'm currently in the heavy research stage of writing my book that I'm working on and it's so handy to have someone essentially reading it out to me so that I can make notes. Just such a lifesaver for research and reading. And so I actually have an exclusive offer just for you guys. So normally you can get a free two week trial over on listening.com, but with my link in the description box down below at listening.com slash Jack in the books, you can actually get three free weeks, three free weeks. Try saying that 10 times fast. It will be tough. Head to the link down below, check out listening.com. It is a game changer. And thank you so, so much to listening.com for sponsoring this video. Junior Bake Off is the next prompt, a children's book. Ooh, okay, what was the most recent children's book I read? Maybe like Heartstopper volume five, which I thought was great. Darius the Great is not okay. I don't know if that counts. A friend recommended that to me in Taiwan and I immediately went and bought it. And it was great to read more Persian literature and understand um, more of that culture as well. I'm looking at my YA shelf, which is like just down here. House in the Cerulean Sea, Wonder. I think Wonder was one of my favorite books growing up. I really like that one. Okay, Hollywood Handshake, a book that impressed you. A book that impressed me recently was Piglet with its descriptions of food. It is intense, it's dramatic, but it's brilliant. And the way that it describes eating, indulging, gluttony, but also the act of cooking or baking and making food for yourself or for someone else, the act of going out to eat. Um, I just thought it was really, really interesting. I really enjoyed it. It's basically about a woman who finds out that her fiance has been up to no good in the run up to their wedding. I feel like this is a bit of a an overdone trope. Like you see this in literature quite a lot. Like someone finds out that their partner has been unfaithful. The plot twist is they're about to get married and it can be overdone. But in this book, they never, firstly, never even mentioned like what it is that he's done. And so that part is sort of, yeah, we're curious, but it is just wiped out of the equation. And I think we always can kind of tell that we're not going to find out. So I wasn't too focused on that. And instead you really focus on her emotions and the way that she starts to spiral out of control, especially with what you could arguably consider to be disordered eating. So obviously trigger warnings with this book, but Piglet really, really impressed me, especially for a debut. It's super, super bold and self-assured. I really liked this one. A book that you would recommend to your friends and family. Hmm. Mayflies maybe by Andrew O'Hagan. I can imagine recommending that to like friends and family. You know, it's one that I would feel confident to recommend to lots of different people. It's about friendship. It's about this group of friends who go to Manchester and have this like really crazy night out. And that's the first half of the book. And then the second half of the book, and it's all just the way it captures friendship and um, the portrait of the characters. So believable, so articulate in the way that it captures the spirit of a person. I thought it was really, really impressive. And then the second half of the book is years and years later when one of our characters gets a phone call from another one of the characters saying his life has just drastically changed and they reconnect and it's just very moving, sad, um, but I think it really has a bit of everything for everyone. Showstopper Challenge, a book slash series that is your all time favorite. All together now, Sula by Toni Morrison. Another Country by James Baldwin, 1984 by George Orwell. Um, the Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, Normal People slash Beautiful World Where Are You by Sally Rooney, Open Water, Caleb Azuma Nelson, the list goes on, Piranesi by Susanna Clarke, Hamnet, Maggie O'Farrell, um, Young Mungo, Douglas Stewart, so many great books. I could go on all day and I will if given the chance. So I literally have two channels dedicated to talking about this exact thing. <laughs> the Finalists, a favorite trilogy. I mean, it's gotta be The Hunger Games. I really think... 
I can't think of that many trilogies that I've read, let alone enjoyed. <laughs> but The Hunger Games, especially books one and two, are just magical. So, so wonderful. Um, the world building, I think that we need to put more respect on The Hunger Games name for like the world that they built and also the iconic moments that are so recognizable and that we can still quote today, you know, that become part of our everyday vernacular. Like if someone says, I volunteer as tribute, you would know exactly what they meant by that. And they are literally referencing the Hunger Games. You know, people will even say like, oh, it was a Hunger Games sort of situation when they mean like a survival of the fittest or only one person gets to the final prize. People still talk about the capital and the love triangle and like all of those different things. Like it's just so iconic. So I think uh, the Hunger Games is my pick. An Extra Slice, a favorite companion book. That's tough, I'm gonna plead the fifth. I don't have an answer to that question. I mean, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, I guess. I haven't read this book, but I'm gonna say the Chloe Gong um, companion books, just because I love Chloe Gong, just on a personal level. Just, this is absolute favoritism. I just, I just really like Chloe. <laughs> and so she has um, these books. I went to her launch event for them, but I'm still working my way to the companion books. So based on blind faith, I will be saying Chloe Gong wins all the awards. So that's, that's it. That's the end of the tag. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Um, let me know your answers to these questions, these prompts as well. And let me know if there are any other book tags that you especially love that I should do next. The next book tag that I should bring to this channel. In the meantime, you can find me on Instagram, you can find me on TikTok, you can find me on my main channel on YouTube. I'm posting all of my book reviews on threads, on Goodreads, on the Storygraph. All the best, stay in touch, have a wonderful day, goodbye.